So if you really go the whole way and see how you feel at the prospect of vanishing forever, of all your efforts and all your achievements and your, all your attainments turning into dust and nothingness, what is the feeling? It's a curious thing. The most real state is the state of nothing. That's what it's going to all come to. And for some reason or other, we're supposed to find this depressing. But if somebody is going to argue that the basic reality is nothingness. Where does all this come from? Obviously from nothingness. So cheer up, you see. This is what is meant in Buddhist philosophy by saying we are all basically nothing. The essence of your mind, that's how it is behind your eyes, is intrinsically pure. Pure doesn't mean a non-dirty story state of mind, as it is apt to mean in the word purity. Pure means clear, void. So you know the story when the sixth patriarch was given his office as successor because he was truly enlightened, there was a poetry contest. And the losing one wrote the idea that the mind, the consciousness, was like a mirror which had to be polished. And constantly one, I have to polish my mirror, I have to purify my mind, see? So that I'm detached and calm and clear-headed, you know, Buddha. <laughs> but the one who won the contest said, there is no mirror. And the nature of the mind is intrinsically void, so where is there anywhere for dust to collect? by seeing that nothingness is the fundamental reality, and you see it's your reality, then how can anything contaminate you? All the idea of your being scared and put out and worried and so on, is just nothing, it's a dream. Because you're really nothing. But this is the most incredible nothing. If you think of this nothingness as mere blankness and you hold on to the idea of blankness and kind of grisly in, about it, you haven't understood it. Nothingness is really like the nothingness of space which contains the whole universe. All the sun, moon and stars and the mountains and rivers and the good men and the bad men and the animals and the insect, the whole bit, all are contained in void. So out of this void comes everything and you are it. So what I'm showing you is that all this hocus pocus about the fear of nothingness is that truly speaking nothingness is what we want to talk about when we talk about the spiritual. Only it's all been ignored, it's all been put down. You say, oh nothingness, Blah! heaven preserve us from that. <laughs> but that's where the secret lies. And obviously the secret always lies in the place you never think of looking for it.